supportive. So we'll look forward to a safe and easy passage. Thank you. Can I call Golders Garan? Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I would like to start by congratulating the member as well, Ian McKelvey, for having his uh, bill uh, pulled. Um, I'm sure it's, uh, it's an exciting experience. Um, and I do want to acknowledge as well that, that this bill uh, is, is attempting to address an issue that is real, a problem that's a real problem, um, and that is the huge backlog that we have in every court, every tribunal. Um, in our system now. We know our justice system is hugely overburdened, hugely underfunded, um, as it has been for some nine years. We know the Human Rights Commission was, um, had a backlog of about two and a half years. We know we're having to fix the family court system because of the delays there in the criminal justice system. I know from first-hand experiences so overburdened um, as to have serious criminal cases waiting some 18 months to two years to go to trial. So getting some, some, of, of, some of the less serious cases out of that backlog, um, I could see, is, is, is a, will be a real relief. Um, the only problem, of course, is that we can't address the backlog um, in our justice system by expediting cases and, and lowering the due process standards that we have come to enjoy and, and, and rely upon in New Zealand's model, otherwise, other than the backlog of justice system. Um, this can't be um, the answer, the lowering of that due process standard. And I can see why these types of offences, the type of offences that come under this bill, are seen as being so minor as, as to be able to be dealt with in, a, um, in an expedited way and by non-legally trained um, judicial officers. But in this case, and if you do look closely, um, we can see that the breadth of, of the offences that come under the bill actually do touch on some serious um, repercussions. Um, if, if guilt is, is found, and if guilt is found in, in a process that's not fair, um, if the judicial officer involved isn't trained in things like the Bill of Rights Act and in, in, in evidence um, standards and, and in other um, procedures that, that, we sa that we use to safeguard um, the presumption of innocence, then, then those repercussions become very unfair. So $3,000 fines, for some people, that's not actually all that minor. And of course, for the animals involved, we're talking about a capital offence here because the dogs involved are put down. So to anyone who has had a pet, that is, that is one of the most serious things that could potentially happen in your life. And to the dog, I mean, that's death. Um, so we do consider that for offences like that, that we do owe the highest standards um, of, of uh, due process and lowering them just to get rid of the backlog isn't necessarily the answer. Um, JPs are of course not necessarily legally trained so they don't kind of have, have um, a, a higher understanding as judges would in the district court where these offences are coming out of um, in terms of due process and community magistrates who, who do have a higher level of training, there's only 14 of them nationwide. So it's not really them that we're relying on, it is really JPs. And in fact, as I know, in some of our busiest courts, we're now relying on JPs, um, and we have been for a few years now, to deal with things like bail. So this is a wider problem, um, and it's one that needs to be fixed through better funding of our justice system, um, more judges, more courtrooms, um, more resource to, to safeguard our high expectation of that process being safe and fair while at the same time addressing the backlog. Um, so while we in the Green Party do respect the, the problem that this bill um, seeks to address is very real, um, we, don't, we don't support the mechanism by which it seeks to address that problem, which is a lowering of due process standards um, in circumstances where the repercussions are very serious, um, both for the dogs involved, and, and that is an animal rights issue, and also for the owners. So the Green Party will not be voting for this bill. Thank you. I call Anahila. Kanongo taha. Sui sui ki. Exia. It is a.